Uh, are we ready to go? Yeah. You got your finger on the button? I'm ready to go. Right, let me get I'm ready to go. <laughs> Can you yeah. drink on this? No, uh, no, no drinking. Yeah. No, we uh, uh never. <laughs> we're super Christian here. Oh God. As a matter of fact, we brought we, this is an intervention. We brought you on to convert Mike yeah. to Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, he's not sending me. <laughs> I'm bad for right, the. You ready? Bad for the. I'm ready. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of the Inkbox Podcast, a show where we're masochists and keep on bringing artists that are cooler and better than us because we we fucking. I mean, that's all. Yeah, that's all yeah, artists. That, that, that's that's all artists. Yeah. Uh, but we got Mike and the Molotovs here. We got Mike and we got Katie May. Katie May. We're gonna start the podcast now. Hit it, Steve. Oh, he got it. He got it at the right, it right, time. right time. What's up, y'all? I'm not wearing a hat. I feel like this is the episode I should be wearing a hat. But finally, I've been trying to get fucking Mike on this for fucking ever. So. Hey, what's up, man? We, How see, are you? we got Mike here. We got Katie May, who I'm meeting for the first time. Nice to She's meet you. She's got some cool ass rings and shit. And then, unfortunately, we've got Steve again because Adam's still it. fucking dead. Oh, no. <laughs> and then also. Yeah, that, that wasn't that funny. That wasn't gonna, that funny? Yeah. Oh. Also, we've got apparently a live game of fucking chess. Which yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get my. Ass I feel like totally I kicked. feel like I jinx that I- into that. But go ahead, Mike. Yeah, what's up, man? Make a move. Are we just gonna go back and forth on this? Oh, so it's They're two versus yeah, yeah, yeah. Two against my one. Ass. Two against one. Bad. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, like, y'all versus us two, even knowing that I know nothing about oh, God, fucking like, no. chess. I feel like yeah, I'd have a better chance if it's just me. No, 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 no. I'm I'm it's in like on this. Take turns moving. I'll See how well you guys think. As you a know band what? Y'all, y'all, y'all think hard. I want to talk to Katie here. So I'm just meeting you. Great. Hello. You. So you're in two bands. I'm in two bands. Yeah. One is a country band. One is a punk band. Loosely both. Yes. All right, I want to talk yes. about the punk band first. We'll Let's get to Mike's it. country shit later. All right. Sounds good. And what's the name of your band? Cheeseburger Picnic. Okay. That's Jeez, that. Oh my god. Everybody's got a cooler band name than I know. <laughs> how long you guys? Thank you for saying that's cool. Yeah. It's dope as fuck. We've been we've been arguing about it for years. No, Dude, like, there should be no argument other than like. Um, you know, we have the coolest band name on the planet. Some of the cool, like, there's a band. I mean, you're arguing with other people because they're like, why did you guys steal that band name first? Ooh. There's a band in Austin called The Butts, which is <laughs> fucking amazing. There's a band in, uh, uh, where'd they say it was? Uh, I think it was New Orleans called The the Handy Capitalists. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which, fucking, I keep hearing these dope ass band names. I'm like, we're just fucking stuck with this shit, I guess. What does but, it mean? The manic jokes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, what was I, so when I when philosophy? I started, I when I first got here, I wanted to be in a band called X Ray Cat, and I was like set on that. And mm. then I googled it, and there's already two bands called that. So like, I had a song that I'd written when I was like 22, and it was like, uh, one of the lines was something about telling witty anecdotes about times our friends were manic or something. It was douchey, but somebody was somebody was like, oh, so they're manic dotes. And then manic dotes was supposed to be a placeholder. Along with this, this was also supposed to be a placeholder. We just needed something to put on SoundCloud. And then this stuck, Manic does stuck, so it doesn't mean anything. Okay. It's so. a portmanteau. Yeah, yeah. So when's the last time you played with Cheeseburger Picnic, and why haven't I fucking <laughs> like been to a show? I don't know. That's on you, man. Yeah. We, <laughs> They're uh, fucking awesome. They're a great band. The Thank you. The last time we played was at the end of August. Um, we have a cheeseburger baby on the way from our guitarist, so that was our <laughs> official last show of the year. Um, but we're going to kick it back in January. We'll be back at Chopper John's. I'm going to be there for that. Yeah, oh, it's going to be fucking time. That. Yeah. Nice. What's, your, what's your other band called? Katie May and the Lubrication. Katie May and the Lubrication. Are yeah. you guys like in the same vein as uh, Mike and the Molotovs? Kind of. What, what, what did you say to me the other day? Hey, it's Mike from Me and the Molotovs. <laughs> <laughs> so in that sense, yes. I said I'm going to steal that tag. Yeah. But you can speak to the music. Um, no, I think it's a little bit different. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't. I'm not as angry when I leave your show <laughs> as when as when I stop <laughs> listening to the music that uh, we create. I'm, you know, it's more fun, party, I less w- burn down the Capitol. W- yeah. Yes. Ours is a ours is less politically motivated and yeah. more uh, personally. Uh, What's the word? Self-destructive. Hey, if you, if this right. is the first time you're checking out the podcast or Mike. So Mike is uh, a rare breed here. Mike plays country music, but he plays leftist country. 
What do you call it? What do you call it? Spaghetti, spaghetti, oh, spaghetti punk. punk. Spaghetti, spaghetti punk. punk. Yes. It's the dopest shit I've seen since <laughs> I've come here. One of the most like actual unique bands. But uh, in, in that vein, one thing I've uh, I've always wanted to talk to you about is like being a country act and uh, being put on like like more country shows and also like your subject matter. Has there been like a time where you've been on the venue uh, on the bill and the crowd wasn't like wasn't expecting that shit or like. <laughs> You get more of a right wing crowd with country, is what I'm saying. Has there been a time where you're playing a show and like you come up and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" Actually, like, no. That uh, hasn't happened. And, and we haven't played like a lot of country venues. Um, probably the most was we played the Dirty Drummer, which is kind of this like ground zero for uh, country acts here in town. Mm -hmm. And I did get to scream, "Hate fuck the bourgeoisie!" Yeah. <laughs> in a in a straight up country club, which was a great, you know, it's kind of a career highlight for me. Mm. Yeah. Um, but no, we've, you know, at Yucca, we've played with a few different country bands before. Um, and the dudes in the hats, they come up and they shake my hand afterwards. I mean, they're actually like, for the most part, pretty accommodating. Like, they that's, get that's, it. You so know, they're, kinda, they're like, yeah, dude, fuck, makes fuck this shit. It's, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> I remember it was like five, six years ago, someone was in California and uh, we, we're, we got put on like the wrong fucking show. We played at like a VFW, right? And we have this, this song called A Cab and shit. And like before we played it, I prefaced it. I was like, "Y'all oh, probably aren't gonna like this." And then these, a bunch of these drunk rednecks were like, "Fuck it, play it." And then that was like the best reception to that song I'd ever fucking had in my entire life. Yeah. I was I was shocked with that. Like you reverse reverse psychology though. Yeah, I did. Like afterward, they're like, like "Fuck, fuck you, them yeah, pigs." Like I was like, "All right, fuck it." Like well, I didn't get any of those. Like NASCAR started. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, like, like, like or, you know, uh, whiskey the idea of, of of resisting the cops. I mean, that like. That mm -hmm. is integral to... That's outlaw country. Baby. Yeah. That's I mean, why we're so outlaw country. I would, yeah. I always Absolutely. say it, there's two things I like, and it's outlaw country and the law. So. <laughs> <laughs> outlaw country and got, supporting one of those blue lives. Yeah, are you the flags. thin blue yeah. line yeah. license plate I followed in here yeah. today? <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Hey, you might want to chill. Steve's, uh, Steve's brother's a cop. All right. Oh really? I don't have a brother. Uh, I got two <laughs> stepbrothers, and neither one are cops. Dude, I went, I went, I went on a date with a girl one time, and I was going on my anti-cop like shit, and we were like fucking like five minutes in the date. This was like ten years ago, and I, I I went on the 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 a cab shit that I do, and she's like, oh, you're gonna feel really silly right now. She's like, my brother's a cop, and she thought I was gonna be like, oh my god, and I'm sorry. I was like, oh fuck your brother, and that was the <laughs> that was the quickest I've ever seen somebody go like just like I'm not fucking this person. Like yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. seen. Something like somebody end a day so quick. <coughs> I uh, I saw Sounds you guys. Fun. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Sorry. you How got to, to clear your throat. Lock yourself yeah. in like yeah. three easy steps. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you guys play a, a yucca show, and I felt like the crowd there was like very strange. And I'm like, man, I wonder how this is gonna go over. And like mm. everybody, everybody loved it. I, w it was was it uh. Bastard Sons of Johnny Cash or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, oh, nice. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I tried to get uh, you on that show. Yes, yeah. Yeah, very uh, country show. Yeah, very. but like everybody uh, loved it. Like you guys killed it there. And like people were super into it. But like, yeah, you guys, I was looking around at the crowd. I'm like, man, this is going to fucking be weird. <laughs> I, have you, I haven't seen you not, not kill so yeah. far. So I'll give you that. Like, huh. I've never seen you play and not kill, so. Well, thank you. I'm hoping. You're <laughs> so like, so I, well, like I'm just saying, like, I need to feel better. About go to every yeah. show and yeah. just. <laughs> He's maybe gonna fall this on time. his fucking face yeah. this time. <laughs> I did. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I chipped my tooth over the weekend. What'd you do? Can you see this? No, no you've got a gorgeous uh -uh. smile. This one right here. Can you see? Can you see it <laughs> from here? Which one? Add, add a fucking add a fucking you've got like I, in the, the microphone. The yeah, I went up to the mic and it fucking hit me right in the face. That's that's you what you it? get for using Anybody that big ever tell you steel, you have like, Ben Affleck jug teeth? That you got. I know like, no, this that's guy, a compliment. He's got amazing teeth. Yeah. If there's anything I know about Ben Affleck, he's got the best teeth in the fucking game. Oh. So that's a compliment. I'll give you that. In the tooth game? Yeah, in the tooth <laughs> game. There's a tooth game. I promise it's like you. You guys are playing it. Yeah, is it your move? Uh no, I think uh I think it's yours. Yeah. Roll it back. So yeah, you did uh Bishop to E5, and then I, uh, and you took my uh, bishop, and then I took back with the yeah, knight. This, this is the most boring oh, okay. conversation. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So Who's yeah, winning? Next. Uh, nobody. I mean, like, I'm losing, like, guaranteed, but uh, so far, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm technically not Te losing. Technically. I'm actually up a point if you. You okay, know, so while these two know. fucking nerds are being nerds, Katie, how long you, how long you lived here, been in the, like, scene? Uh, that's. Two questions. So yeah, I've, I was I grew up here. I wasn't born in Phoenix, but I grew up here. 
Um, and then I moved up to Flagstaff, went to school. I started doing like bluegrass jams up there. I always like played acoustic shit. Um, and then when I moved back, a bunch of my buddies from college, they were always in bands. Uh, at the time they were called Disco Pilot. I went to their last show and then they did a, another rebranding of the band with some new members called a cheeseburger picnic. Went to one of their shows and uh, was like, hey, you guys need a vocalist. <laughs> They're like, you want to do it? I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll come by and try it out. And then the rest is history there. Um, so that was about five, six years ago that I started with Cheeseburger Picnic. And then a few years after that, I was like, oh, fuck. It's it's not that hard to record your own shit or it's not that hard to go play shows. Like, I'm going to do this with my project. Uh, and then the lubrication was born. And oh, yeah. It's been, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> so or the present. So, so, <laughs> so. Why is lubrication singular in the name instead of like the lube, like the lubricants, right? Right. Yeah. So <laughs> a, an individual member is a lubricant, but together they're the lubrication, right? I like to think about it's like it's kind of like pick your poison. It's like a social lubrication, okay. right? Like alcohol kind of loosens. Just you tell up. him. Just tell him it sounds cool. Just say it's fuck you. It, it sounds does. Cool. Like, that, so. was a, that was a secondary. That was a secondary thing. But we've really run with the uh, kind of motor oil theme. Like my homies yeah. were my homies were in a band. Uh, back home called Danny Discord and the Misanthropists. And the word isn't misanthropist, it's misanthropes. It's mi it should be misanthropes, but they were like, fuck it, sounds cooler. So like, just tell Steve to fuck off. I like that. It sounds like piss. Well, yeah. well I mean, like, you know, again, the, the, the question wasn't like, you're wrong, right? <laughs> it, so, like, that stood out to me. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's amazing. And I love the fact that it's, it's the lubrication and not yeah. like the lubricants. Yeah. Right? I think we actually threw that around for a second. Uh, and lubrication just makes sense. Yeah. Feels yeah, good. Just like feels it. good. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it does. Yeah, no, it's pretty. Yeah. Have you ever <laughs> gone in just completely dry? I mean, uh, me awful. personally, no. I I <laughs> that took a turn. Wow. All right. Man, yeah. this chess game really makes people aggr sexually aggressive. <laughs> Must be all that not getting laid while you play it. <laughs> that was yeah, weird. That yeah, was a weird move. Was yeah, it? that like what are you doing? There? Wait, I mean, do you know? Just, do you know about this game? Bishops. About this game? Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with chess. Oh, okay. so I play, I'm the only one that does it. Was it that oh, okay. weird? Was that a terrible move? It was weird. <laughs> See, it just... Like, I didn't it, mean to... <laughs> chess is the worst no, thing to no, play no, on a podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, there, there's I'm a psychological game yeah, yeah, yeah. going on here. <laughs> chess is like a terrible game to play on a podcast because I just want to like be quiet and let you guys think. Yeah, no. I guarantee like, you I, there's a chess podcast and it's probably great. Yeah, no, this is great. All right, Mike. He's doing exactly I mean, what I want him to do. I ask every oh, mu every guy. musician that plays yeah. a bunch of shows. I, I ask this on on the podcast all the time. But uh, what's the worst show you've ever played? It could be oh, I, I, it could be like experience with like weird shit that like happened like oh, or after like. Yeah, you know when I was younger, I played a uh, YMCA once, like a teen night. Okay, you know, and uh, I mean it was great because the kids were like into it and like you know I was having fun, but you had to like bring your own stage, your own PA. Like, cause you know, it's like the middle of a gymnasium. You had right? to bring your own stage. Yeah. That's a tall order. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it was like, okay, you got to like get these kids into the auditorium. Cause they have like the whole YMCA to hang out. They finally did. They're like jumping around like, okay, two or two or three songs in they're like having fun. And then we blow the power circuit and everything in the room just goes completely black. Nice. Did they get it fixed quick? No. Did they all scream? <laughs> <laughs> No, it did not get fixed quick. So the show was over. Uh, it took about forty-five minutes to find the circuit to pop it or whatever, and it, it was awful. That was a, so. That was the worst show you played. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So I'm surprised. <laughs> like, dude, I'm I'm prying for some kind of like, oh, I was in this country bar and this guy punched me in the face. No, no, that's that's uh, <laughs> yet to come. You want to make that up? <laughs> yeah. So I was uh, playing this acoustic show one time, and uh, this biker was like. You vote for Biden, and I was like, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's it to you? I'm on the edge of my seat for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is. Convincing. And he's like, okay, that's cool. At least you voted. Oh. And then he like gave me a handshake and left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did Mike's never allowed on this podcast. Like I voted again. sticker. <laughs> <laughs> He gave you an iPhone. I voted sticker. twice. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what there's I the like election fraud. Uh, yeah, I wore like three or four of the iPhone. Okay, that, this has been a setup. All right, bring in the, uh, the Secret <laughs> Service. <Yeah. clears throat> that's what I love to do is uh, go to the country bars with the six or seven stickers. <laughs> <I voted>. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
fucking amazing. That's, I like that. That's funny. <laughs> and what about you, yeah. Katie? You got any bad Joe stories? Kooky, yeah. Oh, so stories? many. Oh, so, so, I should have asked you first. Mike's um, too enthralled in this. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's see. Okay, so speaking on, like, when I when I started doing my, before the lubrication, I was just doing Katie May, doing my songs that I wrote, and I was just trying to get experience playing solo. And I took a brunch gig in Flagstaff um, at, it was called the Root Public House at the time. It was probably like the third or fourth solo gig that I'd ever played. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna dress real nice. It's brunch, I'm getting paid pretty good. I wore like this nice white dress. I was doing like a three hour set and in the middle of it, so I'm sitting on this patio. I brought my own PA, but it was solo, whatever. All these people are eating and listening to me play country tunes and shit. And uh, yeah, I was like right in the middle of it, my finger split open Ooh. and I'm wearing this like beautiful white dress and I'm just like spraying blood all over myself. <laughs> Everyone's like, you can stop. I'm like, no, it's fine. I have a three hour set. I was like, it's fine. Like, but I didn't realize that people were like eating mm. and that was disgusting. <laughs> um, I, I, could, I played for another hour and just left with like covered in blood. Um, That's hardcore. Like it was fun. I had fun. If I break a nail on stage, show's over. <laughs> show's done. Yeah, You're yeah. done. A yeah. fingernail or a toenail? Lights. If I break a toenail, oh. I'm done with music altogether. <laughs> How the fuck am I on stage breaking toenails? <laughs> You'd be surprised. You don't wear cowboy boots. <laughs> Very presumptuous. We're gonna start though. Yeah, like we were talking about this and like just the band aesthetic and stuff. And I'm like, man, like Mike's really got it going on. Um, I'm like, how could we be more like Mike? I thought, like, well, was cowboy boots I thought about you. I thought about you the entire time in Texas. You see that picture we posted? Yeah, I did. Uh, you guys look good. In cowboy hats. I'm not gonna you lie. Should, you we, should yeah, wear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, when, when I got the picture, I wore it like you know. I was like, I'm wearing this ironically, but I was looking at the picture. I was like, man, why do I kill this shit? <laughs> <laughs> we wrote a song called "Lonely in the Lone Star State." Aww. We did, yeah, yeah, dude, that's classic. And then, yeah. So just, there's only one other song apparently called "Lonely in the Lone Star State." Yeah, you figured it's right there. Hanging fruit, right? I figured um, I was going to look it up, and it's like, oh, there's 56,000 songs called Lonely and Alone, so I say, nope, only one, and it's from the 60s, so. Love that. Second yeah. place, I'll take it. Do bro. you listen to Charlie Marie? No. She has, that's a song that just popped in my, my mind. She said, there's a line, he left me in a lone star state. Mm. And not the same. Oh. See, I'm still creative, all right? <laughs> yeah. I still got it. Yeah, so, no, you'd never heard that. That's yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. What's, what's the premise of the song? The premise of the me. song is. Because I may steal it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just, it. it's just about, like, uh, like when you. Like, cause uh, before we toured Texas, I was just dealing with like being sad about certain things. And I was thinking that like, oh man, maybe if I go on tour and I go through Texas, they'll stop like thinking about like a sad thing. But like, nah, like it just like, it made me feel worse. Like leaving didn't fucking help at all. So it, it's the genuine premise of the song. And it circles around back to like a specific person that I was thinking about, so. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna forget about you and drive through the biggest state possible. Long, <laughs> dude. It's so <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be in a car for 12 hours, like nothing looking at see. nothing, and I'm definitely not gonna think. Okay, about Okay, okay, right? so okay, so now <laughs> apparently it's not that genius of an idea. So thank you for tearing my shit down. But dude, dude workshop. Nice. So what we're workshop. We're workshopping the song. Yeah. 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 You know? we're giving you. Ideas. Is it my turn? It is your turn. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Check. I thought he meant to talk. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought too. I was like, you've been talking the whole time. What the fuck are you talking about? Can we talk about me for a second? Yeah. Like, what the fuck, guys? When did you start Mike and the Molotovs? And was it hard to find other like like-minded people to be in a country band that well, wants to sing about this kind of stuff? I um. So I, I was in a band before this uh, here in town, and I, uh, you know, that band was kind of coming to an end, and so I I was kind of like looking for like what the new direction was going to be. I knew I wanted it to be sort of country and and sort of satirical. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really started hanging out at like some of these country places. Like, you know, there's, there's a handful of like really kick ass musicians and, and Katie's one of them, like one of the best in town. And I was like watching them play like over and over and over again, like at different venues, you know, Chopper Johns and Dirty Drummer and, um, Yucca. Right. And I was like, oh man, like this is, this is like, this is uh, fucking cool because like they can do shows with different lineups. Right, like they yeah. so don't you can rely. Just, like, you can pick and choose. Like, Katie yeah. doesn't rely on like the same drummer or the same guitar. I mean, it's <laughs> That's nice. That's not they, true. Well, <laughs> but but like I've but, seen you know, her yeah, without yeah, yeah. that, right? And right. I was like, dude, you have that. the freedom to mix up. Yeah, mix and up. I was like, and I saw a bunch of people doing that. Sometimes like a full band, sometimes like you know, as like a duo, sometimes like you know, unplugged. I was like, dude, that's country like, that's house can what. do that. I could never do a show without Steve. Like, 
I'm very dependent on Steve. I can never just be like, oh, Steve's not he, here. He would forget it. Like, I so get what it's, you're just, saying. Just I get, get what a stand-up saying. bass player. Yeah. You know? Like, just, it's, it's cool because also they can breathe new life into something, right? For so sure. I saw this and I was like, holy shit. Like, yeah. I've been doing music wrong the whole time. Like, if the drummer can't make the show, we can't do a show. But it's like, no, it doesn't stop these guys in the country scene. Right. right. That's a good right? point. And I was like, holy fuck. Like, this opens up so many different opportunities. <laughs> Plus, if they can't make it, there's more money in your pocket. You don't got to split it with Oh, you get paid? Oh. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we get, dude, I meant that's more experience in your pocket. Sorry. Yeah. It's more exposure <laughs> you in your get pocket. Paid, you get paid in exposure. More exposure in your pocket. We pay I, I got to say, like, there, there isn't a session bass player that's going to remind Justin to charge his wireless. Yeah, no, there's so. not. As a matter of fact, as he says it, my wireless is dead right now. So, <laughs> if I were to, if I had to play a show anytime soon, I would just grab the guitar and just be fucked for a wireless. Yeah, I had to play like a fucking peasant. I just played with Birth of Monsters. <laughs> I was like, what's a peasant? With a, with a yeah, I had to, I had to use a fucking instrument cable like it's his 1864 or some <laughs> shit. Like, don't like it, tripping all over shit. So, Katie, what's the last show that you played? The last show that I played was the show Mike was talking about, my 30th birthday party yeah. at uh, Dirty Drummer. Yeah, nice. it was a blast. Uh, uh, tore it down. So I've never been to Dirty Drummer, and that's like a like a cowboy bar. Dude, we got to go, man. Yeah, like, I'm down. Up the troops, it's dude. an everything like bar. It's Bro, a- I'm going to get a cowboy hat, and it's specifically going to be for times I, I hang out with you. Like, that's the only <laughs> time it's coming out. You see me in a cowboy boy hat, you know I'm doing shit with Mike. You're, you're going to get addicted. Dude, it is so fun. Like wearing like a cowboy every, hat. Well, yeah. Oh well, that too. Oh, uh, but uh, it's so fun, dude, at these country places because, like, I was at. Um, have you heard of this place in Chandler, downtown Chandler, called the Stillery or Distillery? Yes, yes, I've heard of Stillery. Dude, yeah. there's I've like never this been, but growing still, scene yeah. of like of like country music, dude, here in town, and it's fucking awesome, dude. Like people are like dancing, having a good time, drinking, like approachable, like it's. Awesome. Everyone's super friendly. Yeah. I love the dancing too. I got fucking super into two stepping yeah. actually. And only by again, speaking back to like punk roots, I went out to see a band of my sorry, this is kind of a long story. I'll try to do the abridged version. We're on a podcast. There we go. The more you talk, the better. <laughs> Great. The more you monetize. Yeah. <laughs> um we hate dead air here. Hmm. A couple summers ago, uh, m- one of my favorite bands are called Hang Rounders. They're not a band anymore together, but they're all doing their own shit. Um, but they were playing out at a roadhouse in northern New Mexico called Cold Beer. And uh, we drove up to go see them. So they're like, fuck it. My favorite band's playing 10 hours away. Let's go. We didn't have anything to do that day. And uh, rolled up like a punk kid. I mean, I'm wearing my like jacket and stuff. I have my cowboy boots on, but I like, they start playing. I go up to the front of the stage and I'm like standing there like this is fucking sick. All of a sudden they start another song and the dance floor floods with two steppers. It was the first time I'd ever seen that where it's so bizarre. <coughs> Unless you go to a country bar, you, I don't know how, I think they hear the beat and they're like, this is a two stepping song at hundred people on the dance floor immediately. And you're like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? It was bizarre. I learned how to two step that night. Um, uh-huh. And I, yeah, I'm hooked. I, I, I've been two stepping. I mean, I grew up in Texas, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I, it's. I heard it's different out there. There's a Texas two step. There's whatever the fuck we're doing. Yeah, out maybe there. I, know, I don't know. I know how to square dance because the American school system decided to teach uh, everybody in America how to square dance in fourth grade, and then didn't tell us why. So we just know how to squ- square. Have you, dance. have you never used square dancing as an adult? No, I never oh have. Oh my god, I'm fe- 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 was, He's <laughs> using it right now. <laughs> <Is> he, <laughs> I've just never been to the bank and then be like, yeah, no, like we need your signature, and then. Four yeah, of our three, of three of our fucking employees are gonna yeah. come out. And we need to execute a perfect. Well, you need to synchronize dance steps to this lonely in the Lone Star stage. <laughs> oh, you I need do. to do a square yeah. dance Dude, it's breakdown. A, you know? It's a banger. I need to hear this song. It's already stuck in my head. We'll we'll, we'll play yeah, like play once the podcast you. is done. Done. We'll play. We got a recording. We had a. Uh, uh, oh yeah, you didn't because I I hit Mike up and asked him if he knew somebody that played harmonica because I was like if anybody's gonna know. But we, we put a harmonica solo in the in, in the oh, motherfucker yeah. too. To, yeah, there's yeah. a harmonica solo. Yeah, so now we've got to get a harmonica ist or harmonis, <laughs> uh, whatever the fuck they call them. Harmonica ist. Harmonica ist. Wrong, but it feels player, right. Player, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> isn't right. it harmonica? Right. Okay, yeah. I was overthinking it. So you're talking about not getting paid with country music. Oh, which well, is, you can paid well, a lot better I, well, with country. Which is weird because I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I have. Yeah, I was saying like you know in, in I have punk a, music, it's it's like you know. I have a couple friends like from back home. They were in punk bands and shit like that, and then they don't even like country. But they jumped into country bands and they started getting paid. And they're like, they're like, fuck it, I'm making money like doing this shit. Like, one of my homies is a drummer, and uh, ended up uh, uh, ended up doing that because they'll like give you like four hour slots or some shit mm-hmm. like that. They won't give a punk band four hours. We don't. 
We can play our entire discography in like 14 minutes, bro. Like, <laughs> God damn it. But country bands. I oh. told you I'm not good, Mike. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at the. He's really close to your guy. Yeah, he's really close to my guy. Yeah. Is that a. He's close to your horse thing. Does that mean. My horse thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like I'm just getting like totally owned. I'm not, I'm not a good chess player. So you guys just one day you were like, I'm going to learn chess. And then you dedicated time to doing that. Then again, you're in my band, so yeah, no, there's so not a lot. There's no, not, not a lot to this corner. Like I'm, I'm just screwed. Go make a move. Oh man, I feel bad for anybody that's listening to the podcast right now because <laughs> like it's just de- it's just dead. Just We're playing chess. Right. It's getting it's getting super Fear fucking serious. I moved uh, King to uh, F1. Does that help? With the no, podcast? that doesn't. That's okay. like that's you've got you've just got a boring ass voice, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Gotta, we're gonna call Adam here. So eventually, we're gonna we started doing Adam's Island again. You've seen a couple episodes of the yeah, podcast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we cut out Adam's Island because uh, Adam's fucked up. Just in, in case you don't know, well, while we were on tour, you told me he was dead. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I can't just be saying that. No. So I was like, wow, you guys are <laughs> he died processing inside. this in so, such a weird way. I've told the story on the podcast uh, a couple times, but long story short, like at, we we got drunk in Austin on tour and. Uh, we got some of those, you know, electric scooters. Adam fell, uh, <laughs> oh fucked no. up his shoulder. He ended up having to have surgery. No. Uh, yeah, it, it was bad too, like way worse than we thought. That's so we awful. we had to cancel the rest of the tour and two months worth of shows. So we're we're just kind of digging into doing the podcast a little more. Is, is that how you play, Mike? You touch but, touch pieces and then don't move them. Well, I know you're right. I'm I'm gonna move it <clears throat> anyway. What was I saying? Sorry. But usually Adam's the co-host. Steve's usually like back there just doing behind the camera stuff. We've got a segment segment called Adam's Island that we normally do. And there's Are we like going to call Adam and do it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to call. We'll call him. Tonight? Put him on speaker. Yeah, yeah we're going to call him tonight. Put him right. on speaker. I, Fuck I, it. I, yeah. That's like one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Of the podcast. That means, that means you, you got to be ready. And then, Oh, we, there's a new... Do, is the graphic going up for it right now? Uh, No. So, no, that, I did that like post. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, there's I'll, a... I'll you heard our little thing. intro theme song? That like, was great. We get bored sometimes and just record shit like that. We We have a little intro song. For Adam's Island, but let's see. see if he answers. Let's see if he answers. Last time I planned out the call, and I was like, "I'm gonna call you on the podcast." And on the podcast, he's like, "Oh, what a surprise!" Like, motherfucker, we planned this. <laughs> this one's not planned. I feel like Mike, you're gonna have to put the headphones on so you can hear Adam. I can do that. You have to like just go under the chin. I think they will fit. You just have to extend the. He's not gonna answer. He's all right. We'll call him again. Yeah. We'll back to back. Like, I'll send a double text. I don't care. Quadruple text. I'm wild, wild. Wild. Okay. So, Katie, who's your who's your favorite punk band that's that's local right now? Who's the band you fucked with in the scene heavy right now? Um, favorite local punk band. Fuck man. Or I guess it doesn't have to be punk, so well, just somebody. Your favorite local right now. My favorite local band right now. Gotta be local. Is Mr. Mud, Mr. Gold. I haven't heard you guys of fuck with them. No, I haven't heard, heard of them. Awesome. 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 Um, I was fortunate enough to see them play a couple nights ago, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Maybe like a week ago. Um, they were playing at drummer. They fucking rip. They're great. Yeah. Very heavy. Very fun. So like punk punk or the No. Like, okay. It's not punk. Not punk. Yeah, Justin's gonna try but, to Oh yeah, no. Like we're we're Adam, answer your fuck. Like when you watch this, because I know he's gonna but watch it. But when I saw it, I was like, you guys are my favorite fucking local band right yeah. now. Nice. So rad. Um man, there's a ton of there's a ton of great punk bands that we who Cheeseburger used to play with. We had a lot of fun, but uh a lot of different bands have assembled since the pandemic and yeah. I haven't gotten like down and dirty with them I, yet. I feel like it's a totally different scene to- like yes. pre pandemic, uh-huh. post pandemic, because there was a lot of great Utah. bands that that uh man. don't exist anymore and then there's like right. 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 We're still doing Adam's <clears throat> Island without you. All right. Um, do you want to start, Adam? You want to do? Yeah, we'll start off, Adam. Adam, Adam go for it. All right, you ready? Oh, wait, am I slapping the table? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how that one starts. And go. That's what uh, you get when you, right. when you leave us alone with recording shit. <laughs> cool. Just randomly. Yeah. Uh, so, Adam Island is a section where we talk about uh, a desert island album. So, like, if you're stranded on a desert island. You can only listen to one album for the rest of your life. I mean, granted, you're on a desert island. You're probably not going to survive that long. So, uh, But 
Whoever the asshole was that left you on the island also left you like a record player. Cause yeah, uh, and you will not, yeah. you will be judged on your answers. Um, no comps or uh, you can't yeah can't do, com- uh, can't do compilations can't can't no. do greatest hits yeah, yeah. it's got to be an intended release by the artist. God damn, I need to think of one. I just realized I need to think of one. We have to think of a different one every time. Yeah, yeah. Every week we have to think of a different mm. one. I know. Hell is just you stranded on <laughs> the desert islands for numbers of times listening to those albums. Oof. It's tough, isn't it? I know. Well, because the first thing that came into my mind was a comp, but that's because I'm I was trying to cheat. You can't cheat. Okay. Yeah, no, this is serious. You can't uh, cheat if you don't play. Let's see. Mm. <coughs> Still playing chess. <laughs> has anything happened, or has Mike just been staring at the? Well, no. I'm thinking about an answer. Actually, Mike's about to beat me. So, yeah. Mike, knowing he's coming on the podcast, knowing this is a, uh, this is a, sele- a section of the podcast. I didn't know about this section. Oh yeah, we usually try to keep catch people off guard. Last week that did not work well for us at all because they told us they were Libras. What did? <laughs> what? Can we talk about your last guests? Our last guest, we had the Venomous Pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. I didn't know if that was like a surprise yeah. or not. Oh. But uh, what did so they that, say? So that ep- <clears throat> that I'm episode curious. will come out afterwards. So Gabby, I fuck with Gabby's answer. Gabby was just straight up. She's like, "Fucking Green Day, bro," and like, <laughs> "I fucking eat, sleep, and breathe Green Day." Nice. And then uh, Drea was just straight up like, "I fucks with everything." She's and then she's like, "I'm a Libra. You gotta ask me this kind of stuff in advance." And then I think I called uh, astrology space racism. <laughs> and then <clears throat> that was that was that segment. But yeah, Gabby straight up. Oh no, Gabby didn't say Green Day. She said, uh, "Take off your pants and jacket." Blink one eighty two. Oh, yeah. 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 But then she also said she likes Green Day more. Mike, you're gonna make my job like super difficult after this. For what? Oh, for, oh, for sorry. Not yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Like now I'm gonna have to like go and do all this bot- oh, body yeah. automation. Oh yeah. Every time right. we keep telling people to talk in the microphone, it's not because yeah, we can't oh, fix yeah. it. It's because Steve's got to oh, sit sorry, there for man. a while. Yeah. We'll just redub. I'll come back in and yeah. we'll just do like a uh, an overdub. Of you my think voice. you're that good? You can hit every single. Oh, fuck like, yeah. You know, just every single every um, <laughs> cadence. I'll just, I'll just watch myself. Okay, I have my pick. All right, I pick comfort to me. Ammo and the sniffers. Never. Shh. What? Amel. Amel and the Sniffers. And the Sniffers. They're fucking I'm amazing. I'm definitely going ch- to yeah. check that out. Usually yeah. when I go through and right. re-listen to these podcasts, I'll put like uh, what people say like on my list to check out. So. What, what style of music is it? Um, It's Australian, heavy, punk adjacent. Okay. Uh, I don't know what they classify their genre as, but it's it's heavy and punk and badass. All right. Um, yeah, I, I picked that because I think it would make me tough. Like it always amps me up. So if mm-hmm. I had to like go climb up a tree, fucking wield a sword or something, I don't know. Oh, if I'm on an island or any kind of apocalypse situation, like I'm giving up. Like I'm not climbing a tree. Like have you ever like watched like The Walking Dead and you're like, why are you guys going yeah, there? Like, no, you could just like, die. I don't make scary <laughs> movies or shit. <laughs> you got guns, just yeah. use them. Yeah. yeah, it's just like you. Why do all this when you could just die? Like I'm not gonna go eat a coke. Of one, I hate coconuts. So yeah. Coconuts are gross. Mm. I agree. I, f- I fucks with Katie. All right. Katie's, agree, a, yeah. Katie's a homegirl. Yeah. You got one, I Mike? can never get the hairs out of my teeth. <laughs> well, You're I, eating them the I'm wrong way. What the fuck? <laughs> can I do an audio book? No. Oh, an wow. Absolutely, wow. absolutely wow. not. Al- Come album. On. Adam, Adam's going to hear this and he's going to be like, new rule. <laughs> hey, you just made Adam Books. write a new rule. Uh, yeah. I mean, what's wrong with that? Like, educate your mind, right? Why? We, like, I, like we're, we're just talking. I'm not going to. I don't know. I, on record. You've got me. You know, like you've an got audio me book flustered. on record. You've right? got Why me couldn't I if right I'm now? like, all right, yeah, I'm going to like listen to this. You know, you, do you want to give him audiobook? No, I, absolutely no, not. No, no, yeah. no, no. Absolutely no. Not. Adam, Adam would never fucking forgive us. Yeah, no, that is unacceptable, okay. Mike. You can't fit a whole audiobook on a. If it's a short book. <laughs> it's a, like it's a, a really Dr. short. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> He's like got a little tiny Junie B. Jones. <laughs> Um, no, I would probably say uh, Weird Al in 3D. Oh. That's absolutely in that is my favorite is, answer is I've heard album. so far. That is great. Oh. Definitely yeah. not a bad answer. Yeah. yeah. Damn the one Next that was trail to hell. The one that was winning before you just said that was uh, Kendrick Lamar. So. Mm. What do you did you did you you think about this coming up to this podcast? Well, you go first. Me, I'm gonna so I'm gonna stick with since we've got them them here. I'm gonna go Rage and Tragedy by. Uh, Lost Dog Street Band. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna go nice. for it. One, it's full of sadness. 
And if I'm on a desert island, I'm not happy about it. So, like, why not just wallow, wallow. in my sadness with Ben Todd, who is, to me, the straight-up greatest songwriter to ever exist. Yeah, he's, a, he's really like good. Like, when people ask me who my two favorite songwriters ever, it's always it's a toss-up between Benjamin Todd and Brian Fallon. Like, no those kidding. are the two. So in the same vein, I'll probably uh, get the album name wrong, but uh, what did you expect by Odd One Out slash Littlefoot? Oh, do you know who Littlefoot, Littlefoot. is? Littlefoot. I just played a show with Littlefoot. Littlefoot you was here for... Her. Yeah. You were awesome, by the way. Thank you. Wait, you saw her? <laughs> Wait, you were there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. So it's yeah, they, they, came, they, they stayed the uh, weekend at my house, and uh, we got <clears throat> like the most amazing inkbox session we've ever... Yeah, yeah it can't be done. done. It can't, yeah. it can't yeah, be that top. That great. That's, uh, that session... He made like uh, because the whole point of the sessions was uh, just try to get people a little bit more like emotional because you get that with like bigger bands and stuff like uh, artists will sit down and talk about the meaning of their songs. I wanted to do that for the local scene. So the point of the session is somebody like play some kind of song that has some substance to it. Like don't just come in here and like cover Blink-182 or something. But his came through in the middle of him playing it. Mike's like scrap it. (laughs) In the middle of him playing it like he's playing it. The camera's recording. I'm in the other room. And I was bawling. Like, I was just fucking crying in there. Yeah. And then uh, his voice cracked while he was playing the song. He didn't make it through the song. He made it to the last chorus, and his voice cracked, and he started crying and walked off camera. As soon as we stopped rolling, I'm just, like, almost fetal position fucking bawling. I was like, that's the best, like, session that you could fucking have. Yeah, but, yeah, everybody, like everyone listen now. Go check out our Very session good. with Littlefoot. Absolutely amazing. Love that. Love that motherfucker. I'm like, I, I don't understand that move. That you made, Mike. Oh, more chess shit. Oh, just Aye. check it out, man. Just play it out. See where it goes. Katie, what do you want, what, what do you want to talk about? We got like another like I, uh, 20 can minutes I, to... Can yeah. I grab another beer? Is that weird? Yeah, so it's, like I'm, so, I kind of yes. need another beer too. I'll, hey. Let me, let me do the you beer gonna, run. You can't leave Thank the... You. Uh, okay. I didn't want right. to break the... I, but I broke it. See, Adam never leaves the camera. This is, Which is why... Can I get now, a cranberry juice, we'll please? Start. Yeah, I'm gonna. Rec- I'm rocking sober for the for the rest of forever. Hopefully, good for you. What I was listening to a, a Maddie Matheson uh, something he was cooking. Do you know who that is a chef? Uh-huh. He's, yeah, he's funny. Um, but he was getting tattooed, and he was like, uh, "Oh no, I'm sober right now. I'm off like the drugs and alcohol." And the tattoo artist was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that." And I thought oh, that so- was the greatest response to becoming sober. Dude, fucking. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Fucking. <laughs> Adam, when he, uh, when when we went to urgent care like that night, like fucking joking, we were still kind of like uh, adrenaline running through him and all that. But he's in the emergency room, and uh, he just looks at the doctor and he's like, "Give it to me straight, doc. Will I ever rock again?" <laughs> and dude, I got to I, I got amazing. I got to spend time with Adam uh, the other day. It's really it, it's yeah. he's still in that sling and everything. But we went to a hockey game, and uh, the lady next to him goes to put on her sweater very aggressively like i don't know who needs to put on a sweater with, like with that much umph and angst but uh he's in a sling she bumps it and he goes ah fuck and this lady looks at him and, and and she's like oh my god i'm so sorry do you want to punch me in the face right now i'll let you and he's like no ma'am no like it's fine it was an accident she's like are you sure you don't want to beat the shit out of me i'll let you and he's like lady you're making it weird as fuck then she looks him dead in the eye and she's like i've got so many like black and blue bruises on me nobody would even know and it's like god damn i heard you telling the yeah. story as i drove up and i thought this was like a bar fight situation nope. she just was just everything short of she's like i've got a machete back there you just want to take a slice out of my fucking thigh and he's like lady it was an accident like, chill out yikes i'm having move paralysis here um, I mean, it's okay. I guess, like we're trading queens, clearly. Um, this doesn't happen all the time, Mike. It's just because you're so pretty. I like, know. You know you're so, you're so pretty. Flustered. This never happens, you know, with other other girls. Should have smiled. <laughs> so, uh, what do you? Oh, nothing. I'm, 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 no, I'm oh. just moving over. I was going to get stuff. you a cranberry, but there's a one cup for Justin Rule now. I implemented today. Because okay. normally he uh, he goes and gets a cranberry juice. Then he goes out in the garage and has a cigarette and then leaves the cup out there and comes out here, grabs another cup, pours another cranberry juice. And then so every He's time... He's failing to tell you time, the end of the wow. day part. Every time Justin leaves, there's 14... Wrong. ...dirty glasses just on my like, counter. Likes to ha- likes to hate. Everything so, in moderation. Yeah, so uh, so I couldn't find his glass. So I tried to get you a cranberry juice, but I don't know where it, what happened to it. Do you know where your glass is? I do now, but I'm not telling you after all that, <laughs> after all that fucking hate speech I got. Was that hate speech? Yeah. 
So with all that, with with Mike and all, all these stories, uh, what kind of shit you got coming up for Mike and the Molotovs? Uh, well, um, we're our next show is a uh, few weeks from now. Um, we're playing at the Nile Underground. Dope. Uh, opening for the adverts. So that should be pretty awesome. I love those guys. I mean, I think there's only one guy left now. <laughs> you, I love that. I love, the I love, I love that one I love guy. those guys. Yeah. Do you guys know who adverts are? Uh-uh. Okay. See, so my love for punk is like pretty much everything before 1980. Right. Like You're not one like, of those punk should be offensive guys, are you? Um, It should be raw. Yeah, there's not offensive, not like gutter mouth. Yes, yeah, I so, so I, I actively like talk raw. shit about gutter mouth. I fucking raw, talk that shit. Raw. You don't like I think peeing it in the shower? Be raw. <laughs> you don't yeah. like peeing in the shower? Yeah, dude. What, you is, did you just say that? Isn't that gutter mouth? Pee in the shower? I don't fucking know. I don't listen to gutter mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that no, song rips. Yeah. I don't listen to <laughs> dude, I don't listen to douchey fucking homophobes. <laughs> well, fair, fair. Yeah. <laughs> do girls pee in the shower? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stormy, you ever pee in the shower? All women. Yeah. You've never peed in the lying. shower? She's lying. Oh, I feel bad. Like, it's, it's your shower. Bad. I know, but I'm like, it, it feels like I'm peeing in someone else's shower. I'm like, I'm not, I can't be doing this. It just feels bad. I'd be like, I pay rent here. <laughs> I feel that's, like, well, story. when you pee, you're like claiming your territory. So maybe that's yeah. why. Well, if you do it that's once. That's probably why it feels like somebody else's shower. Your landlord's taking advantage of you. Pee in the shower. <sighs> I really think peeing in the shower is fine as long as there's no one else in there with you. You never, you never like. That's where like, there's like. Okay, you've never been married, so. Yeah, you never like. <laughs> you just, just like, let it rip pee, in the like, shower, with, like not given warning and just whip. Not it out on and, somebody, but oh. like fucking. <laughs> unless I mean, if someone asks for it, I guess I'll acquiesce. But you king know, shame. I'm not king shaming. I'm uh-huh. not here to king shame anybody. All right. We don't shame anybody here. No. This is the house of no shame. What's your what's so. your guys, what's your kink, Mike? Legs. I'm that's like, very, uh, you just, just legs, like yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's, it's, it's kind of a weird. I, is that it's, a kink? It's, as long yeah, as she's got. I mean, like, what do you want with the legs? Do you want them like. You, what do you want with the legs? Do you want them like, like figure like, four what around your, what what around you your neck? Like, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how that's a kink. Like, I don't know. Do they need to be attached to somebody or just like. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've never. Do you like a Christmas story? He said legs. Those are, yeah, yeah. Multiple legs are nice. Yeah. Steve, what's your kink? Yeah, what's your kink, Steve? I mean, I'm like so fucking vanilla. Same. Like, I really don't. Yeah. People ask me, they're like, "Oh, what yeah, do they're you like, want? talk dirty." They're and you're like, like, mm, like, "What's your kink, yeah, dude? Dude, yeah. dude, Ooh. fucking, uh, fucking." Since the first time I was, I was with a girl, she asked me to talk dirty to her. I didn't know how to, right? So she's like, "Talk dirty to me," and I swear to God, I went, "Oh, you're such a bad person." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Fucking excuse me," but no, I don't have, I don't have anything. Like people were like, "Hey, man, like, what do you like?" I was like, "I don't know. Like, sex is cool." You don't have any with <laughs> I don't know, like it reminds me of that meme where it's like the girl and guy are talking and the girl's like, just degrade me and he's like, I don't know what to say. He's like, just do it. She's like, Okay, you like that, you you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, you fucking <laughs> d- you fucking dumbass. <laughs> You're illiterate. <laughs> Yeah, no, for me, like, no kink. You have bad taste <sighs> in movies. <clears throat> no kink. In- insert somewhere close, preferably moist, thrust, repeat. That's, that's basically it. Really? The there's yeah. nothing, there's no body part or. Know, or, or I, I, I don't Brain, know. Like, like sapiosexual I, or I, I kind of like eh, I kind of like getting my, my back scratched up, but that's like vanilla as fuck. <laughs> After or before? After seems oh, mean. God. Oh what? <laughs> After seems mean. Imagine like if, that's be like if a stranger came up to you and just like clawed your back. Like I need the. the oh, he meant like I need the context. Oh, I thought, I thought like you were meant like a gentle sex. scratch. Yeah, oh, yeah like you're gonna no. do like a little back tickle. Oh no that's no what I no! You meant. I meant tore up. Tore up a little bit. Oh, I thought we were talking cuddle. Like I mean, I'm I just fucking love like I I'm okay, just the gentle and... Dude, I'm fucking down for cuddles, like, like a motherfucker. As a matter of fact, like if you if you want to cuddle after this, if either of you guys like want to <laughs> cuddle after this, like fucking Steve, and what are you doing later? <laughs> Be like, all right. Anybody else want to talk about any kinks? Oh, pass. <clears throat> all right, figured figured as much. So Mike likes <laughs> Mike likes fucking legs. Yeah. Just legs. Fucking little legs. <laughs> no, doesn't yeah. even like fucking legs. Like Mike's kink, legs. Beginning and beginning and end of sentence. I dig it. You should get a knuckle tattoo. That just says, says legs. Legs. Yes. legs. Yep. <laughs> nice legs. Nice legs. 
That would be actually pretty rad. Dude, that one that one song has got to be like I be still a got fucking my lower turn on for you. Done. She's got Earth. legs. You're like, oh yeah, he's been fire. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, dude. It he's got to fire. I got to yeah, go take a cold top. shower. <laughs> yeah. I think they're kink shaming you right now. I no, I'm not. Feel I'm like not, it I'm is not, almost, but it's, I'm not, it's, like it's I, a kink bully. I came here to be vulnerable as, as and give lo- you an honest <laughs> response and give you a true punk rock authentic uh, answer to the question about I don't my think that was like, I feel I, like that was a very general statement like now, look I think there's a lot of guys that like legs and they're just afraid to come out that just that, that, I mean legs it's, are cool yeah. I'm not about, hating like, on legs bro and ass and it's like nobody really thinks about legs anymore like there's nothing better than like heels and like Okay, see that now you know. you're getting now you're getting more into it you yeah. like yeah, heels yeah, 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 yeah. so you're a foot guy is what you're telling me Well legs the whole leg I guess if so uh, like I, I wasn't shaming your preferences, right? I'm just saying, like, <laughs> is that actual actually a kink? But if if a foot yeah. fetish is a kink, then wouldn't a leg fetish also be a kink? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I I apologize on behalf of the ink box, Mike, that we. I'm gonna King cancel you guys you su- as soon as, uh, bro. You <laughs> suck on you suck on as many calf muscles as you want, brother. You know you we do like you. we like to grow here, and we learn something new every day. Yeah, and so I appreciate you, and I appreciate you calling us out and keeping us <laughs> accountable. Mm-hmm. So, thank you, man. This was, this was <laughs> gentle, <laughs> kind. So, so what, what do you yeah. what do you think of, of us in the setup after this conversation about kinks and legs? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Um, I love it. This yeah. is great. This is, would, would you hang out choosing. again? I skipped Jimmy. pinball for this. I would hang out again. I, I don't know what you did that for. I would hang out again. I don't know what I did that for. Either. So you you just play the pinball tournament at Yucca every week, right? You don't like work there. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I just play it. Steve fucking loves pinball. I do. I love pinball. Like, I want to play the Attack from Mars. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll um, that up. yeah. Actually, yeah, I love pinball. It's very fun. Then we'll play our Lonely and the Lone Star, Steve. You can't. Make I want. I want to hear it. I'm excited about that. We're not. Gonna, that was not, an illegal move, Mike. Oh, you're right. We're not ending the podcast until this game's over. <clears throat> Do you need me to give you some lessons, Mike, on how to? Uh, no, play no, chess? no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see that. I would, yeah. that would, oh, I was you. that some I Steve that shit that talk? In, well, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was some shit talk. You're right. I didn't see that. All right, Katie, let's com- let's, let, let's commentate on this. I well, so I played check, Mike. Varsity check, chess. Mike. Oh. Is the dog okay in? Get in here, bud. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, as long as you like dogs, right? But yeah. he is the, he's he is the sweetest dog on the planet. And he loves cuddling. Welcome so. back to Steve's Aww. dog, Bradley Pooper. Stop. Oh, uh, my he kind of looks like Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. He does like I identical. I never looked at Yeah, I never looked at that. Wow. My dog's name is. Uh, we have to get Carl Bradley Barks. Cooper on the pro- podcast mm. then. Yeah, it's uh, That's, he's got a yeah. nice beard. Nice. I like that. Aww. My dog's not feeling so good right now. So we could send mm. him some well mm. wishes. Yeah. I want a dog. I'm, I have a kitty, though. I'm a kitty. I'm a kitty guy. I'm a kitty guy. Her name's Mi- awesome. her name is Miss Mary, and she's the love of my life. I have her tattooed Aww. behind my ear. She's. I thought you said in your ear. I, in like my ear? No, <laughs> behind my ear. Miss Mary is cool. She's uh very vocal. She likes to sing songs. Yeah, she does. We have a song about a cat. I don't know if you've checked out her stuff. Meow. No. Meow. <laughs> meow. Are you meowing at me? What is this? Super Troopers. <laughs> I said. All right, uh, meow. Yes, sir. Let's. Hmm. Somebody make an exciting chess move. I feel like at this point we're going to be chasing each it's other. Gonna around. I think it's, it's going to be over soon. I think it's For all the people yeah. listening, this is this is as boring as you think it is. I love how Mike didn't move, uh, but two pawns. That's a okay, pretty interesting. Yeah, he's got a weak pawn game, right? Interesting what's a, strategy. What's a pawn? Well, but this I've one. been taking all of his pieces. I mean, that's my strategy. I feel like that's how you win. That's well, yeah. yeah. <sighs> There's many many ways. I was going to say, I actually when I was in high school, I played chess on the chess team and I had to get a sports physical in order to compete. Really? Wait, what? Because it was technically an AIA sport. <laughs> you have to wear a cup and everything. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to wear a cup, but um I had to take a drug I don't know test what, like like we all know about those about those test. those chess PEDs. <laughs> What's that? Performance enhancing drugs. Oh, okay. You're not a sports person. <laughs> right. I'm yeah, off. It's, yeah. like, it's like your fingers are all muscly, yeah. like, like ripped. Like it's not, it's just, like, just your right arm, just most rage. aggressive put down. Yeah, Mike's about to take my rook, and then I'm just stuck with a king and some pawns. Oh. I don't know what the fuck that, that means. That sounds. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like I see something. it. I see exactly what's happening. I just don't know how to do anything. About I heard it. that grandmasters burn like 1,800 calories in one chess game. Yeah. What are grand. Wait, what? 
grandmasters are like like not the KKK grandmasters. Oh <laughs> well, no, I didn't think KKK. I just mean, are they sprinting around Them the fucking crosses table? Are heavy, right? No, they're just thinking <laughs> so hard. They're yeah, their fingers are so jacked. It's just mm. constant calorie burning. <laughs> Burn 1,800 calories playing chess. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. What you yeah, if you do 400 do. push-ups between each move. Well, chess games are long. They I'm can just, be. I'm just not very good, Obviously. Mike. That's, that's, that's <laughs> not as long as this podcast. Yeah. Hey, we're at the tail end of the podcast. Anybody that wants oh, yeah. to jet, and I, I'm like, you can now, but I, I suggest you stay, because whoever loses gets flogged. <laughs> oh, I'm into that, too. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Legs and flogging. I, mean, I forgot that. about flogging. <laughs> there goes my And Mike's going to lose on purpose, and we're, we're about to turn Mike on. What do we got? Rook to e5. It's going to go rook to d2. Rook takes d2. How am I in a band with you, dude? And then I'm just, <laughs> then I'm screwed. Wait, whose move is it? It's mine. Yeah, I feel like I should resign. Like mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not doing very well. Don't, a yeah. draw is not a loss. That was our, uh, this ain't a draw game though. Philosophy. Would you take a draw, Mike? Right now? Yeah. No. Yeah, I, would uh, well, well, I don't have to accept it. You can resign. Well, that's what I'm saying. You well, yeah. don't well, resign. Well, saying a draw, a draw yeah. is is a favorable ending, right? right? And I'm I saying mean, like you ain't gonna draw. I though. mean, but come like, on, who would, who would know? We could just cut out the, the end of the episode and be like, hey. just like just super do a jump cut. Yeah, just do a jump cut. Like, we'll do a jump cut to like either we'll do you record you and Steve going like that, and then just depending on the audience, we'll make it Steve for our audience. And I'm gonna go ahead and resign, Mike. Oh, oh. good game. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we got that. Good game. Fucking Steve lost. Did I do like super bad or no, did I just do like I mean, you know moderately bad? Move. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, that's... So that's how much chess I know. I know how the pieces move. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know that I had the white privilege in this game too, and I still lost. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. So what do you think about uh like the whole white always goes first in chess? Isn't that kind of bullshit? The what? That white always moves first in oh, chess. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I think it's time to change that. Yeah. I agree. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah, we should write a song about hot it. Hot take, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the most non-white person at this table, and I'm just picking that up. Yeah. All you fucking whites. Anyway, make sure you check out Mike and the Molotovs. This fucking EP is out on Spotify, and I'm hoping the other ones too, right? I know it's on Spotify. Did we talk it about? She's on one of our songs. Oh, yeah. also, oh really? We should, we should probably talk. That's probably like, yeah, we should. That yeah. Also. <laughs> you know what would have been... Wondering what this uh, person's doing You know here. what that would have been better than? This fucking game of chess. <laughs> Watch this chess game. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, Katie's on this. Well, now that we're done, we can actually talk uh, instead of yeah. not Oh, if not you're, if you're here, you fast forward it through the chess yeah, game. So, yeah, um, just fast forward it through that part. Yeah. Podcast starts <laughs> now. <laughs> We're so gonna talk everyone. about something. We got Katie Maker. Anyway. Hey. So anyway, she's on one one of your songs on the EP. Yeah, it's probably the best song on the EP. I think. Hell yeah, it fucking rips. <laughs> it's fucking. No, she's yeah, not even thanks for about it. Me. She's like, yeah, it's the best song on the album. Like, yeah, I'm I, agreeing with you. I didn't know like if I had to pitch it to you or not because you know just the subject matter was kind of like eh, it's kind of risque. Like, is this is this gonna be weird? And we even had a conversation when we, we came in and like, uh, is this like. You played it at that show that we played with you at Yucca. And you were like, do you want to do vocals for it? And I was like, hell yeah. And then you sent me the lyrics. And I was like, I'm not going to do this talking portion. Yeah, we, think. we talked we about talk doing an intro. Which could have been cool. I like how we, how yeah, we yeah, yeah. did it. I think it's fucking sick. What song is it? Um, it's called Fuck the Boss's Wife for the Working Class. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I fucking oh, love all of your song titles, <laughs> But Katie immediately got it. I mean, she just came in and she was just like, yeah, dude, I get it. Like, bosses are fucking over the working class, so we're going to fuck over the rich people that own all the means of production. Oh, yeah, I get it. Let's fucking yeah. do it. Yeah. I like I'm, pr I'm proud song. of you, Katie. It was fun. It was a fun session, too. I had a good time. And then do you have any of you, like, so all the projects that you talked about, you and, um, you're on, like, Spotify. We're on all the shit, all yeah. All we're working shit. on a new Katie May and the Lubrication record right now. It'll be our first full length. Um, but we have a couple EPs out. I have a soul, a single out and, uh, we got some cheeseburger homegrown shit. That's really good too. I'll tell you what, yeah. what we're going to, we'll turn all of the songs we can into country songs and then we'll play a show with you guys. Hell yeah. We'll do country sure. versions of our song. That would be Let's dope. Yeah, no, we could do it. Like, I mean, like all of our songs start as acoustic songs anyway. Right. Well, I think I can speak for it. Like, so. cause we don't, we're not, a, we're not a pure country band. We're alt country. I call it alt Western. <clears throat> Katie Mae and the Lubrication. It's definitely rock influenced. And it's like what Mike said. I mean, you can you can genre bend with it. You can play with a number of lineups. It's really fun. 
I like it. My, like, so get in here. The, the whole, the whole yeah. approach to that. Like, like, especially, especially you got a Lone Star Mario. song? Let's go. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, and, and also, like, the older you get, I mean, it's just lean into the country thing. Like, you know, one day you guys are going to be 50. One day you're going to be 55. One day you're going to be 65. Pick, I can't Travis pick for shit. I got so. you. you. Yeah, well, you, there's people that, that can do that. Yeah. Lost Dog Street Band, basically all the stuff they play is Travis picking. I love Lost Dog so much. I do, and too. that's so rad that you brought that up. That was I mean, so technically yeah. most Lost Dog stuff, he's playing banjo though, right? No. No. Yeah? Ben okay. plays guitar Sometimes mostly. he does. Right. I think. Yeah. yeah. I was wrong. I know I know like his uh his solo stuff is all like Travis Pick guitar, but okay. I'm wrong. Make sure you check out Mike and the Molotovs at EP. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Spotify. It got Katie May and the Lubricants. The lubrication. The lubrication. The lubrication. Oh, Katie, let me. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna stop talking. You. You, you guys can ask. <laughs> Don't get, stop. Get what? <laughs> and I was talking shit about. This is Steve fun. sucking at the podcast. <laughs> we all suck. <clears throat> we all do. Yeah, Fuck yeah. What's up, funk mean, music's all about? Fuck yeah for sucking. You guys got anything, anything else you want to talk about, mm-hmm. or do you want to end it on we suck? Oh, I do have something I want to say. When does this podcast come out? Uh, so we're gonna post. Uh, our episode with Thrash Can this week. I know anybody listening is, is going to be all fucked up, uh, but Thrash Can this week, Pink's next week, this one the week after. So what, if what my math is correct, there's another one. What? Oh, there's another one. But like, uh, is there a time that, that would you be that you prefer to come out? We, we can switch it up. Oh no, I was yeah. just going to say if my math is correct, that's three weeks from now. I'm playing a show with John R. Miller, who's one of my fucking favorite songwriters of all time. You'll enjoy him. I'm gonna be there. Um, hell yeah. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check uh, you out. I'm yeah. gonna listen I'm to you guys. Like, he was like, I'm gonna come. We, um, it's uh, at last exit. We're opening oh, full nice. band, full yeah, band like lubrication show, exit. which are kind of rare. Our pedal steel player, um, he's been on tour a ton this year, but he'll be there with us. So it'll be really fun. And when is that? Um, what month is it? October. It's October 21st. Okay. Last so exit. Three weeks. Sean R. Miller. It's a Saturday yeah. night. Okay. Is that that's right. not the same night as? No, we're okay. playing uh, adverts on Friday the 20th. So Fuck then go yeah. check okay. you out Party. the next oh, night. Yes. Make it a country weekend, guys. Fuck yeah! I'll be there on the 20th. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna and bump something this on the 22nd, but we'll talk about that later. Forward. Yeah, we'll, we'll bump so this, that this our, episode our, forward. Our four listeners will be there for sure, including us. I'll so see that's you there. Six people. Weekend of the 20th. Make it a bitching one. Fucking do some country shit. We're gonna end the podcast. Hold on, hold on. I'm not ready. Hold on, hold on. Wait. You know who would have been ready? Adam. Don't even say it. Rip. Now! No, like you totally kicked my ass. Yeah. And I told you you were going to win. There was like no doubt in Steve, my mind. Steve, you have to have faith in yourself. Chance I want to play. play. You can't I'm represent my fucking band and I'm just be I'm bad at chess. Been, I don't even I've know. I've been playing chess for like two weeks. But yeah. I, yeah. But you know all the lingo. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that I was fun. Yeah. Stuff. yeah fuck Thank you guys. That's fun. Yeah, that was great.